AJ, when they got done with AJ, he laid there, bloody, feces, his own feces, laying in his own feces and blood, shriveled up on the floor, on the concrete floor of his cell. The reason I make these videos is to prevent teenagers from committing crimes. Because what they don't know is that when you get locked up, well, let's just get to the story. So you got this dude named AJ. AJ was from Detroit, Michigan. AJ, he came from a good home. His mama wasn't there. His daddy wasn't there. But grandma stepped up. Grandma took him in because his daddy was a drug dealer and his mama was a dope fiend. So, like I said, grandma stepped up. Shout out to all the grandparents that step up in their grandkids' lives when their kids can't do it. So, <clears throat> one day... Um, oh, I forgot to tell y'all too. So grandma worked at GM. She real high up in there, like a supervisor or something. So she got that bread and she always spoils him. You know, she really never told him no. He always got the new Jordans that came out. Um, the new Air Force Ones, when they came out, he always had the latest fashion. When he turned 16, grandma bought him a car. And she said, the only rules is this, okay? You have to be back in this house by 7 p.m. And, you know, you have to pay your insurance, which was crazy because she pays him a allowance, so she paying for the insurance anyway. Well, AJ decides that he's feeling himself. And on the school nights, he coming back around 10 o'clock at night. So grandma tell him like, hey, you know, we talked about this. You can't be coming in here late like that. You know, the next time you do it, I'm going to need them keys. All right, grandma. All right, grandma. My bad. My bad. All right. My bad. Mm. Uh. That's that French vanilla from Speedway. Gotta have it. So two days will go by and on that second night, he come back at 11 o'clock at night. Grandma sitting there in the living room. I need them keys. Man, come on, Grandma. Give me them keys. Man, I ain't giving you nothing. What did you say to me? I said I ain't giving you a mother effing thing. Huh? Now, Talk about a sense of entitlement. So she like, excuse me, what did you just say? I said, I ain't give you a mother effing thing. So grandma is thinking to herself like, I raised you. Your daddy was a dope, your daddy was a drug dealer. Your mama was a dope fiend. I could have let you go into the system. I could have let you go to child protective service. You could have been in foster homes. This is what she's thinking. I done took care of you. I I never let you went without anything. And this is how you repay me? So she like, wow. So she get up and she walk up to him and say, give me them keys. And so she try to take the keys. And he brushed back. Now, at this time, y'all, he balled up his fist. And she said, oh, you really going to hit me? He said, man, it's my car. I'll pay the insurance on it. Yeah, with the allowance that she give you. She tried to go for the keys again. What he do? Ball his fist up and cold cock grandma. Grandma stumbles back. When she hit her head on the edge of the chair, she's knocked out cold. 
he like, oh, grandma, grandma, my bad, my grand, dang, grandma, uh, my bad, my bad. So she wakes up, she groggy, coming out of her knocked outness. She say, get out my house, get out my house, get out my house. He like, no, I, I ain't going nowhere, no, I ain't going nowhere, no, no, get out my house, I'ma call the police. When he heard that, he freaked out. He balled up his fist again. He pound grandma out. All up in the face, all up in the head. Grandma passed away due to her life-threatening injuries. Injuries that her grandson, the baby boy that she called AJ, that she saved from the streets because the mama was a dope fiend and the daddy was a drug dealer. This, this little baby boy that she raised to the age of 16 put hands on her and took her life. Now the story is about to begin. But before this story begin, I need for y'all to hit that like button and share this video. I'm not begging y'all to hit the like button off of the sake of just hitting the like button. No, YouTube has slowed down my page for whatever reason. So we got to get back in the algorithm. And I need for y'all to hit that like button for me, share it so we can get this channel pushed out. All right. And also, if you feeling the content, man, Lean on that cash app or that PayPal for your big partner just one time for me. All right, let's get to it. So now, he panicking. He don't know what to do. So he call his girlfriend. Ring, 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 ring. <sighs> What's up, baby? Hey, baby, where you at, man? Uh, AJ? Y yeah, man, hey. Oh, man, I, I need for you to come over here, man. I'm finna come pick you up. I'm finna come pick you up. AJ, it's a school night, man. I, I need you, man. I need you. All right, come get me. He go over there, pick his girlfriend up. She get in the car. What's going on, AJ? Man, I think I killed my grandma. Huh? I think I killed my grandma. AJ, what what do you mean? It, man, we we got into a fight. And I, 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 I think I killed. I, I think I killed her. So they get to the house. Grandma is laying on the floor and now she got blood coming out of her mouth and she got blood coming out of her eyes and her ears. Girlfriend like, I don't, I don't want to have nothing to do with this, man. Just call the police. No, I can't call the police. I'm not going to call the police. No, um, no, uh, 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 I'm not doing that. Uh, uh, no, I'm not calling the police. Well, I'm getting out of here. I ain't got nothing to do with this. I don't want to have nothing to do with this. All right, man, just, well, well what should I do? I, I don't know, but I'm gone, AJ. I'm gone. Girlfriend is gone now. She leave the house. So AJ just go upstairs in his room and he start crying because he know he done messed up. The weight of what he done did is coming, is coming down on him. And it's coming down on him real heavy. So now he hear, boom, Detroit PD, Detroit PD. See the girlfriend, she freaked out. She wasn't used to nothing like that. When she left that house, she got on that phone and she called the police. 911 emergency, yeah. My boyfriend just killed his grandma. Y'all need to go over there. Slow down, slow down. What's the address? The address is blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're going to send some officers over there. And please don't hurt them. Don't hurt them. Do he have any weapons? No. Is there any guns in the house? No. Okay, we're going to we're gonna have somebody. Um, we're going to have some officers go over there. Okay, okay, but please don't hurt them. Hold on. 
So now he upstairs and they calling him out. AJ, where you at? AJ, Detroit PD. I, I, I'm upstairs. You got any guns? You got any weapons? No. Come out with your hands up now. Okay, officers, I'm coming out. I got my hands up. I ain't got no weapons. So the police, when they see him, they grab him instantly. Throw him against the wall. Put his hands behind his back. Cocking his arm all the way up. Ah, it hurt. It hurt. Be quiet. Put your hands behind your back. Ah, I'm not resisting. Stop resisting. Put your hands behind your back. Right? They handcuff him. Jackhammer him down the stairs. I'm talking about bulldogging him down the stairs. He see his grandma right there, and it just break him. He go limp. Cause you see grandma right there. He going That's the last time he gonna see grandma. Until the next time he see grandma, it's gonna when there's gonna be photos of grandma in front of him with blood coming out of her mouth. And not her eyes and not her ears. Long story, long story short, y'all, he ended up getting life, natural life. Now, this is when that prison stuff come into play. So him being 17 years old, because it took a year for the trial, him coming in there 17 years old, he ain't weighed nothing but what? 130, 135. He ain't been in no fight in he ain't. He, he was a good kid that never got into a fight that was spoiled but now he is in here with men grown men he in here with men particularly that like of the men so after he get out of reception and he gets sent to where he going but before we even go there, let me tell y'all something. Because some of you cats out there, we talk about, oh, no, Dante, they ain't going to send no kid to no prison with no grown man. When you got life, you got life. The system is not built or made for... Hold on. The system is not built or made for you to be rehabilitated. Once you got life, you just the number. They don't care how old you are. Yeah, they got juvenile facilities for juveniles, but sometimes, hey, it's just a dog-eat-dog -dog world out here. When you got life, they like, forget about them, okay? So they put him in a cell with a seasoned vet. And how this cat is, I'm going to tell y'all right now. Dude was like 54 years old. He been down for about 30-something years he a convict when they put him in the cell with him y'all thinking i'm about to say he graped him no he didn't he ain't grape him so here here go so he come in there old timer like yo we got the top bunk um this is the these are the rules of this cell if you got to pee, make sure you sit down. And it's not because I think you're a woman. It's because when you pee, the pee from the, from the toilet comes out and it gets sprinkles all over the floor. So, you know, I even pee sitting down. You know, we got to respect the cell. Um, don't have nobody in this cell. This is our home. I've been in this cell for the past four years, okay? I done had cellies come and go, but I, re I remain in here. So this is my house, okay? As, as I look at it, you are just a guest. But I'm going to let you know right now, I know you heard about the stories about men taking butt up in here, but I'm not that type of man at all. I'm a God-fearing man. But I'll tell you this, though. I'm a violent man too. So if you try to disrespect me or take anything from me or I feel like that you are a threat or a danger to me, 
I will get you up out of here because I ain't never going home. And you said you got life. Well, you got to, you know, you got to, you got to be able to navigate through these halls of this prison. You got to know how to program. So, you know, don't have nobody in this cell. If you want something from me, if you need something from me, just ask me, right? Matter of fact, here's a couple of things that'll get you by. Here's an extra deodorant. Here goes some toothpaste. Here goes a couple of bag of chips, all right? At this time, we get up, you know, to go to breakfast. Um, uh, this At this particular, you, they're going to assign you a job. The counselor going to, you know, talk to you and try to get you a job, get you a high school diploma and all that. That's cool. But my biggest thing, don't have nobody in this cell. All right. And when you get back, I'm a, um, when you get done talking to the counselor, I'm a fill you in on some more stuff about this prison. You're like, all right, cool. Bet. So dude go, and he go talk to the counselor. When he come back to the block and he go back to his cell, When he go back to his cell, there's three other men that's in that cell. So he kind of apprehensive, like, what the heck going on? The three men like, yeah, you in the right cell, come on in here. He like, what, 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 what's going on? They like, oh, you ain't know? Know what? Boom! Somebody done punched him in the back of his head. Punched him in the back of his head. He didn't blank out. He didn't go unconscious, but he was in the big days. Due to YouTube regulation and policies, and I really want this video to get out, so I'm not gonna be descriptive of what happened next, but four men, four men took turns on this young cat that was 17 years old, that ex-grandma out. When I say they took turns on him, one had him in the mouth, one had him in the back there, and they were just taking turns. They basically ran the train on him. Four men. You know, with Sally, he was right. He wasn't no homosexual. He, he wasn't. But he lied about one thing. You know, he, he said that I'm not a homosexual. I ain't taking nobody, but that's true. Then he said he was a Christian. He a man of God. Now that was a lie. This dude was a dope fiend that was always getting high. And he owed two of these cats a big debt. So he basically brokered a deal to these cats, letting them know like, hey, I got this fresh Sally. And um, shoot, clear my debt and break me off with a couple ramen noodles. So give me a couple ramen noodles. <laughs> and we good. Y'all can have them. I'm pimping them out. So whenever y'all want them, that, and shoot, it, it is what it is, right? AJ, when they got done with AJ, he laid there bloody, feces, his own feces, laying in his own feces and blood, shriveled up on the floor, on the concrete floor of his cell. You don't think it can happen to you. You, right there, don't think it can happen to you. Every time you do something, every time you, it, all you have to do, it takes one mistake to end up behind bars. There's one mistake. And I know, I know people talking about, oh, that don't really happen no more. There's so many homosexuals out there just giving it up willingly. That's a fact. That's a fact. But there's still cats in there that like they fish to fight back. There's still some cats in there that, that like the thrill of, of the hunt, of the fight, of taking it from somebody. I'm going to let y'all hold that down. Y'all was asking me 
what where, where the merchandise at, Dante? How can we support the Dante Show Network content? Well, in the description below, all you have to do is click on the link. It says click link for merch. When you click on that, it'll take you to my store. And I got all the merchandise there. I got things for men, women, children, and babies. And all type of accessories. Just go to the store and check it out. Oh, with that, y'all, stop committing crimes. Dante, love y'all, and I'm out.